with the recent release of the quote-unquote last skin for a while, aka Golden and Wet. YBA as of the recording of this video has 152 skins in game, nearly quadruple that the amount of skins. It's no surprise to anyone that skins provide absolutely zero gameplay value, but that doesn't mean that these skins aren't worth collecting and trading for. And no, I don't need to judge skins based on their value. All of you on the YBA Discord frantically trading for goddamn mid-range of phantoms just because some random peeker dude put it at the top of his value-based tier list. Is that of that value nonsense? I'm gonna go through every skin in game and judge them based on their design humor, aka their overall look, and if I think they're worth adding to your collection. I will not take any criticism, my tier list is perfect, and you cannot say otherwise. This is a widely unknown technique called sarcasm. Now, because of the limitation of tier maker, I'm going to split this video into two parts. For part one, we're going over all Stardust Crusaders and Diamond is Unbreakable skins, while part two will cover the remaining skins. With that said, let's commence part one. Starting off with the Star Platinum skins. Charmy Green. I don't like the color scheme. Disgusting! It looks like vomit. Action figure platinum. This skin is only good if you have the actual action figure. I don't. Gold platinum, aka funny piss platinum. Also, the anime scene it was from was pretty cool. Beating. Baseball platinum. Beating people out with a baseball bat is pretty funny. Seeing SP in that costume is even funnier. Also, the punches in the barrage also include the bat, which is awesome. A tier. Star Platinum OVA. Originally, I would have put this lower because of that goofy R hair. Look at the top of his head! <laughs> but now that it got remodeled, it actually looks cool now. Plus, it's got a cool stand aura and matching brush traits. What more can you ask for? S tier. <laughs> Female Star Platinum. No. Sumo Platinum. Star Platinum is one of the strongest stands in JoJo's, having an immaculate physique and insane strength. Truly a chat like stand. And then he became a Discord admin. What the hell? Oh, eye trails are kinda whack though. A tier. Jackal Plan. Now, the model of the skin is great. I love the unique effects emitting from the stand. However, the stand aura and barrage trails do not match the skin. Now, it wouldn't be that much of a deal, but this is an event limited skin. Expect that such a skin should be more complete in terms of presentation. B tier. Luffy Gear 4. This skin is good if you're a One Piece fan. I'm not, but for the sake of info and all One Piece fans, I'm gonna put it in A tier. Now for the Hierophant Green skins. Let's go purple. Shitty recolor. D tier. Let's go yellow. Shitty recolor. D tier. Let's go black. The least shitty recolor. C tier. Eldritch Green. Man, they could have made it more eldritch looking than replacing its legs with tentacles. Better than a shit recolor though. B tier. Hierophant Frost. This is the best Hierophant green skin, hands down. However, it suffers the same problem as Jacko Platinum. That is, it's a limited skin, but the aura and barrage trails do not match. B tier. Next up, Magician's Red. Star Striped Eagle. Sorceress Red. Damn, the textures on the rope got stretched. That's pretty funny. A tier. Magician's Red over Heaven. The OG Magician's Red skin. I think it deserves a remodel to emphasize the over Heaven aspect. But other than that, the aura and brush trails match, making this an A tier skin. Undead Flare. Yet another case of limited skin that does not have matching aura and barrage trails. B tier. Snow Golem. I mean, it's alright, like... What does a snow golem have anything to do with fire? Sheared snow golem. Did you know that sheer snow golem percent is a speedrun category? I'm not joking, look it up. Hermit purple skins. There's only two of them. Holly sickness. The grapple animation color does not match the skin and that bothers me. C tier. Anti Umbro. Slightly better model, but the grapple animation's color does not match the skin and that bothers me. B tier. As for Silver Chariot, there's only three. Silver Chariot OVA. Shitty recolor. D tier. Uber Spy. Rogue lineage copyright infringement. C tier. Asuna. No. 
moving on to a new biscuit. Link's sword. Nostalgia bit. That's it. Attack on Titan Anubis. Kansho and Bakuya. I gotta be honest, I had to look up where this weapon came from. So, uh... Kikoku. For those that want the mod spec. B tier. Sword Art Online Anubis. Probably the worst legendary skin in game. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. Spirit Bomb Sword. Big Blue Cup. Blade of the Exile. Do you play League of Legends? Yes? <laughs> Bloodthirster. Fun fact. Bloodthirster is an item that you can purchase in League of Legends. I never knew that, although it looks nothing like what it does in League, so minus points for that. Next up, let's take a look at the skin's cream has. Vanilla ice cream. Now this is a pretty good skin. There's ice cream cones for ears and biscuits for eyes and kneecaps. But the best part? It has sprinkles. Goddamn sprinkles. Absolute masterpiece, S tier. Cream Nog. Say with me kids, yet another case of limited skin that does not have matching aura and barrage trails. B tier. Nocturne. I mean, there's no other champion in League that fits Cream better as a skin besides maybe Syndra, so... A tier by default, I guess. Time for the world skins. Oh boy, there's a lot of them, so buckle up. Through the world. Shitty recolor. D tier. The world of EA. If Roll Roller was replaced with Oil Tanker, it would be an S. But for now, it would remain as a B tier. Sumo the world. The world is one of the strongest stands in JoJo's, having an immaculate physique and insane strength. Truly a Chad-like stand. And then he became a Discord admin. Shadow the World. Okay, this isn't a limited skin, but it bothers me more than other skins since Shadow the World is half transparent and it has a purple aura already. It makes the default stand aura and barrage trails look that much worse. C tier. The world's greatest high. Perfect for people who've played ABD. I didn't, but if you did, then hey, it's an alright skin for you to collect. A tier. Festive the world. It's okay, but why did they make it so... <laughs> Female the world won. No. This. Dear God. There's more. No. Ghost the world. Same case as Shadow the world. Here. Moving on to Diamond is Unbreakable, let's talk Crazy Diamond skins. Crazy Ruby. The stand aura and brush trails do match, but I got this skin so many times that I feel nothing towards it. Good night, girl. I'll see you tomorrow. C tier. Jade Peace. Remember when people thought this was Crazy Diamond Requiem? Anyways, the skin is alright, matching barrage trails and stand aura, basically crazy ruby but better in every way. A tier. Sunate. No. Sakara. No. Elizabeth Lyon. No. Crazy Idol. No. Neon Ascension Diamond. It's crazy how similar it looks like White Diamond from Steven Universe. Probably just me though. Crazy Overseer. It looks good when you have an Overseer avatar like this guy. Yeah, I agree with that. B tier. Next up, the hand skins. The other hand. This skin is the worst recolor and I hate it. No one likes this skin. Even Eclipse didn't realize it was a skin at first. But anyways, before we start, you may have noticed, actually you probably didn't notice, that I actually have the skin for the hand. One of the few skins that I do have and it happens to be the worst skin in the entire game. You can't change my mind on that. The skin is so god awful that I couldn't even tell it was a skin when I first got it. I had to go and check my pity in order to see if it reset to confirm whether I had gotten a skin or not. Now that is some sad stuff. D tier. Chromo Hando. Basically the other hand, but better. B tier. Female the hand. No! And that hand. Another limited without matching stand aura and barrage trails. B tier. SPTW skins, here we go. Stone Ocean. The remodel finally made it not just a shitty recolor. And it added actual abs to Star Platinum the World. 
Nice. S tier. Is it all star platinum the world? It's a really clean SPTW skin. Female SPTW. Festive SPTW. Hey, you wanna see something cool? Now for the electric bird, red hot chili peppers. Misaka Mikoto, the OG red hot chili pepper skin. No, actually red hot chili peppers. Even though everyone would much rather want the golden freezer skin, I think this skin is a pretty funny joke based on its name. The lightning effects are alright, but the stand aura and brush trails don't match, which is a shame. B tier. Golden Frieza. Now quite frankly, I think this skin has some missed potential. Like maybe Frieza will only go golden when electrified. But whatever, since the skin is yellow, the brush trails and stand aura match, and so it is overall a clean skin. S tier. Ice Cold Chili Pepper. Once again, I fail to see what electricity and snow have in common. Nice hat though. C tier. Now for the bomb cat, Killer Queen. Killer Reveal, the OG Killer Queen skin. Even after so many updates, it still looks good as a skin. If only I could get any other Killer Queen skin. Deimos Queen, the Killer Queen skin for the hood players. At least it's got a nice jacket. Creeper Queen. The best skin in game. You cannot convince me otherwise. Megumin. Okay, seriously, I rarely see this skin nowadays after they added skin rarities. Kind of weird. Maybe the FBI actually did their job. FBI, open up! Frostbite Killer Queen. Ice Cat. Ice Cat. Shadow Killer Queen. A better killer reveal. Too bad it's not OG. Now for the skins of Vice the Dust. Charged Killer Queen. Seriously, why be a Trello? Why is he so... <laughs> killer Queen bites the ice. A less sleek looking ice cat. C tier. And that will do for part 1 folks. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for part 2. Okay, bye.